Okay, so reasons I love fasting. All right, so start off step one. Yesterday I was talking about, or I guess that's this morning for you. Yesterday I was talking about how like a brain dead feeling was overtaking me. Uh, not necessarily brain fog, but a deep sense of apathy, just not caring about anything. And while I didn't really like that sensation, sure, it is very similar to the inner calm, the peace that fasting gives you. And that is the first thing I want to say that I love about fasting. You find this inner Zen space, this calm center that is not bothered by your day-to-day minutia. Whatever problem you're going through just seems smaller. Whatever issue is on your mind, it's actually not an issue. It's genuinely difficult to care about it. And not in the sense that you can't take action or in the sense that you don't care for the people around you or anything like that, but in a way that the problem doesn't touch you. You realize it's it's actually not a problem and you've built it up in your head. And that's essentially the other side of the coin of what I was describing in my previous video. Because if you, if you take that calm Zen center and you're in a negative headspace or you're surrounded by people you don't like or you're doing something you'd rather be doing anything other than doing, uh, yeah, that, that deep calm is probably going to manifest itself as that apathy I was describing. But if you are just taking your deep breaths and <laughs> relaxing for a second, you realize you almost didn't need to take those deep breaths and relax for a second because you were already in that calm place and all the problems that you're having are just releasable. <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe, to describe if you've never actually been there, but I would highly, highly recommend you going on a fast until you can experience that release of stress. It's just calm. It's kind of like when you're in a hot tub for 20 minutes and you're just sitting there drinking a pina colada. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> that's a good place to be. Uh, so that's the first thing I love about fasting. Uh, the next thing, it is a reliable way for me to manage the fat content of my body. Plain and simple. I have lost strength and muscle when I'm doing calorie restriction. You know, today I'm going to eat 1,500 calories, and uh, and then tomorrow 1,500 calories, and the next day 1,500 calories, and my weight does go down. And you know what else goes down? They're my lifts in the gym. Dang. Meanwhile, when I do rolling fasts, whether they be 24, 48, 72 hours, it doesn't matter. When I go to the gym, the next time over the course of weeks, I lose no strength. None. <laughs> and... Uh, DEXA scans that we did a few years ago. So we would do them before a long fast and afterwards because we were rolling in the money and we were curious, you know, like what is this fasting doing to our body? Our muscle mass actually went up afterwards. Our fat, uh, um, the fat content of our body, the fat percentage went down, muscle mass stayed the same or went up because we did not fast for the whole week. You fast for like three days and you work out, maybe another day of fasting and then another DEXA scan. So incredibly anecdotal, but you can look this stuff up for yourself and learn that fasting does not eat your muscle mass. Your body isn't that stupid, okay? Go look up, oh, who is that? Uh, uh, Dr. Fung. Um, I want to say his first name is Jason, but please look up Dr. Fung. And he, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It might be Fung, but I, I'm sorry if I've slaughtered that. Um, He'll tell you everything you need to know. There's plenty of reliable sources out there that will verify your muscles fine, okay? And what your body's actually focusing on when you're in a deep fast is fat loss. It goes, okay, I guess I'm all out of glycogen. Um, gluconeogenesis is kind of keeping blood sugar levels at the minimum that I need, uh, but I need more calories. Where can I go? Well, I'm gonna head over here to this wonderful store of fat that I put over here earlier. I'm gonna eat that. And it works so well. It's just, it's reliable. If you can power through the fast, 24 hours, 48 hours, heck, do 16 eights, whatever. You will burn fat and it's old faithful for Mr. Luke over here. <laughs> 
I don't like calorie restriction. Um, I can do OMAD. It's fine. I prefer two meals a day. I just feel better on two meals a day. Uh, with OMAD, I don't know. I guess if I have it too early, I want another meal later. And if I have it middle or late in the day, then I overeat on calories. Because I'm like, well, I might as well stuff my face. It's one meal I'm going to have today. And, and I just... So for the funny part is that my lack of discipline around that eating structure actually makes my discipline stronger in a fasting structure and timeline. So while I'm fasting, gung-ho, like, I'm not eating today. And it works. And there's no problem. Uh, but I do calorie restriction, which most of the time uh, is a hassle right? You're going to count everything you eat and recall it and track it just right and probably multiply that by, you know, a 1.2 or 1.5 because you suck at tracking calories. Oh yeah, I definitely had three ounces of cheese. <laughs> no, you didn't. You ate the whole bag. I don't... Uh, so that can get difficult. And then some days you're not even going to track it. You're like, I'm intuitively eating, which is possible and a great meal plan if you practice, if you're actually in tune with your body and you stop when you're full, and there's a lot of ways to do that improperly if you do intuitive eating wrong. And for me, I'm not really good at it. <laughs> I'm really, really not good at it because I keep adding ands to my meal. <laughs> I had a taco and a taco and a chocolate bar and ice cream and... And that's a wonderful point that uh, Alan Thrall made in a, I don't know if it was how to lose weight or avoiding a dad bod body, but that, that example I just gave of Anne's, that's, that's his punchline. So don't get mad at me for stealing that. Um, yeah, old reliable for fat loss. It's, it definitely works. And the, the trick that we've learned over the last few years is to not get into a yo-yo dieting situation. Like don't burn 50 pounds off and then regain the 50 pounds. You know how you do that is by not adhering to a new lifestyle. You just went, oh, I did the thing. And now I'm going to go right back to all the ands, to all the binge eating. It's not a you fasted so then you you develop binging. That's not no no no. It's that you've always binged. You uh, and you just learned this new thing. It worked, but you didn't apply anything new to then go on and live a more sustainable life. So that's the third thing that I love about fasting is that it it teaches you to analyze your habits. It teaches you to look at how you live, how you eat, how you prepare food, what's your relationship to food. It makes you analyze your thinking patterns around it. Are you addicted to food? Who knows? Uh, you have to answer that. And <laughs> fasting will help you figure that out. Fasting will help you cure that and let go of any said addiction. It will help you understand when you're the most hungry, when you should be eating because then later when you refeed, are you doing it in the morning, in the afternoon, or at night? Are you doing it all three? Do you have two of the three? You know, and then go back to another fast. And that self-awareness, that introspection that it brings to you is invaluable because you're going to learn your eating habits, how your mind works. You're going to learn how to optimize your life if you, if you stick with it enough. Um, so that's, that's a big plus, learning the the discipline that it teaches you is important. Uh, it's it's very valuable. Um, let's see. Another thing I love about fasting. I just thought of it while I was mid rant, and then it just disappeared. Oh, fasting melted my brain. I <laughs> uh, I like that it it brings you back in control of yourself and it helps you enjoy food more both two minor points and but they're invaluable because a lot of times you eat when you're bored and you don't actually savor the food you think oh i need another taco but if you had eaten that first taco slow and enjoyed it you'd probably be full now 
and you would have enjoyed it more than just having a second taco. Fasting helps to eliminate junk food from your diet. You, if you've ever fasted and then you break your fast with like flaming hot Cheetos or something, I, no offense to those, because they're, they're delicious in some cases, sure. But also in some cases, you're gonna finish your fast and realize these kind of taste like a shoe. Like they're just not good. You'll be craving real food. And, and so it helps clean up your life. Uh, and while some people might be disappointed in that, no more Flaming Hot Cheetos, oh no! A lot of people might be really happy about that. They're gonna watch their food bill go down when they only have two meals a day and it's all home-cooked, good, wholesome food, not processed garbage. So that's, those are the main reasons why I like fasting. If I sit here thinking too long, this video is going to last for 800 years. So I really appreciate you watching today. I hope you take a minute to really think about if fasting is for you. Um, yeah, you can do the calorie restriction thing. Yeah, you can stay huge if you're battling with weight issues. Sure, sure, you don't have to do this. But if you do do it, there's a lot of benefits that come about in your life. There's a lot of good feelings you get from it. So sit with yourself and see if it's something that you want to pursue. Uh, because it, it's been very beneficial in my life. It's, like I said, old faithful. It's something I can always go back to and help get that clarity of thought. Help purify my body. <laughs> Because your body's very wise. It gets rid of the bad stuff when you stop putting stuff in it. And that's, like, I can't sell that. I can't express enough how valuable that's been in my life. So check it out. See what you can do. Try skipping breakfast. <laughs> and just have a nice lunch. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.